Hi runners, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tim and this is Run Tall and welcome to the Run Tall family. I'm really glad that you are here and you found us on YouTube. Now I post running videos every day. Shoe reviews, shoe comparisons, shoe battles. I also like to post videos about training like this one and gear reviews. So if you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. On today's video, I'm taking you out with me on a run. This is my long run day. So I'm gonna run for an hour and 45 minutes. We had 10 minutes to cool down, so I'll be just shy of two hours out on the road today. To help me with it, I'm wearing the New Balance Super Comp Trainer V2s. All right, I'm just gonna get in it and I will check back with you throughout the run. So the big concern for me today was the air quality because we're gonna have, or we do have another air quality alert with the smoke from the Canadian wildfire blowing in. Right now, it seems okay. I think by this afternoon, it's gonna be indoors only. All right, let me get back to it. So I suspect my pace is gonna be a little slower than maybe my last long run. I brought extra water with me today, and oh my goodness. <laughs> it feels like I'm weighing a you know, vest with 100 pounds and it feels really heavy. Oh. And I'm having kind of a harder time today just getting into my rhythm. I'm sure it'll happen. It just seems to be taking a little bit longer. Sometimes it's just about putting the miles in, putting the time in, in your shoes. So I'm not overly concerned. I feel like I'm still going to get a good workout. And I think that's what's most important. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm going to have to start making a checklist for myself before I head out the door because, I don't know, the other week I mentioned, you know, forgetting to bring my water, which was a big deal. And then one time I forgot my heart strap monitor, so I ran without that. But today in the long run, I'm at the point where, you know, I'm going to take a Martin Gel. I reached in my pocket. I forgot my gels. <laughs> There's something on my kitchen counter. I'll be okay. I'll earn 45 minutes, 10 minutes cool down. I don't necessarily need to take a lot of nutrition with me. And I feel up pretty good this morning. I had a superhero muffin and a bagel with some peanut butter and my usual couple cups of coffee. So I'll be okay. It's just darn it. <laughs> I was kind of looking forward to taking that Martin Gel. Oh well. We'll just keep pushing forward. It'll be fine. Oh, I'm running about a 934 minute mile pace, so about a minute slower than the last long run. But like I said before, I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm afraid their air quality is starting to diminish already. I'd hope to get this whole run in before that happened. But I can start to smell that little bit of a smoke and so that kind of sucks. Because uh, I'm only about half, well, not quite halfway. About 40 minutes in. So I got another, you know, hour and 15 minutes to go. Hopefully it won't get any worse than it is right now. And I can complete my long run. If it really gets bad, I'm just going to stop and head home. And, you know, I'll finish that out. Maybe I'll do a little something on a treadmill or I'll just call it a day. Not every workout's going to be perfect. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I had plenty of them in the winter. 
when I was preparing for Boston that were pretty brutal but I just did the best that I could uh, summer has its own challenges and I love hearing about all of your guys's run experiences from all over the world I was reading them the other day and man some of you guys have some pretty awesome places to run so thanks for sharing all right I'm just gonna get back into this one got my music on oh I did a wings to review the song Pete's oh and by the way if you guys do buy these I don't get anything for it <laughs> I just do the reviews because they send me the earbuds for the purpose of review but the link is not an affiliate link or anything like that so my only payment is knowing that you know you guys might get a really good buy on a decent side of sport earbuds and along those same lines once i get to my little uh, podcast studio video podcast studio up and running i'm gonna start giving these things away you know they're used because i tested and reviewed them but they're still in excellent shape and i got way too many <laughs> They can only wear one pair at a time and they keep sending them to me so i think you guys should benefit especially if you sat through and watched the review you deserve a little something back all right now i'm gonna finish well not finish but get back to it all right we'll talk more in a minute So I'm really enjoying the New Balance Supercomp Trainer V2s. At this pace, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I'm just kind of landing right on that carbon fiber plate. It's giving me a really nice bounce. So it makes me just kind of bop along here. A nice, slow, easy pace that's really comfortable. Oh, it's a good choice for my long run today, especially since my legs are feeling a little beat up. It's been a good week of training, uh, but my legs are certainly taking its toll. Uh, all right, back at it. Well, I'm kind of along those same lines. <clears throat> For those of you who are new to the channel, I am not necessarily a high mileage marathon trainer. <laughs> the past year, I used the same program three different times for the three different marathons that I ran. And on average, it was maybe 40 miles a week or a little less. So again, not high mileage compared to other marathon people, you know, a lot marathon shoe tubers that are out there so for me running this advanced program has taken some adjustment on my part and you know not without its concerns i'm not uh, i'm not as young as i used to be i don't talk about my age a lot but i'm 57 years old and so you know high mileage is always a concern you know my body's pretty beat up over the years I've had a lot of injury issues that unfortunately when that happens it means I'm off my feet sometimes for months on end and that is the worst oh oh boy that's terrible uh, so I'm evaluating this, tra this training block 
one run at a time to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. You know, it's taken some adjustment, but so far so good. You know, this is the end of week four when I finished this long run. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get back into it. Oh, so I'm in that 10 minute cool down phase. I'm not going to extend it at all today because of the air quality. You know, it doesn't seem like it's gotten any worse since this morning, you know, when I said I could start to smell smoke a little bit. But I know it is going to get worse as the day goes on. And my legs are feeling a little bit beat up. So I'm just going to truck it on home. Oh, so the long run is done. Now in Garmin, I rated it somewhat hard and weak today. Well, that's how I felt. Uh, hard to get my legs to turn over. I don't know, might be the heat. Could be all of the extra water that I took with me today. I don't usually take uh, 50 ounces, which is what I took today. So I was really kind of weighing me down. And uh, I was kind of feeling it not having that Martin gel. Um, or two. <laughs> I really felt like I was running out of energy. Oh, all right. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind of one of the things for watching. And don't forget, you can email your questions or comments, or if you just want to say hell, uh, hello, uh, you can email that uh, to me at runtall2020 at gmail.com and I would be happy to feature you on an upcoming video and also if you want to follow along with these workouts in real time you can connect with me over on Strava. Alright with that you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.